Hi everybody and welcome to another part of the Solidity Tutorials. In this part we're going to create another cool smart contract which is for checking the reputation or something like a rating system for the users that register. So we have two parts, one uh, registering the user and second one is um, giving a kind of rating to the user by another addresses. So for example um, you have a user or you have a movie that you want to put rating for it so uh, you create that kind of user or um, that kind of uh, profile or whatever it is whether it's a movie or uh, it's a kind of a product or service or kind of company that people are going to rate and then they will be able to give a, a kind of a score to that person product or service so right now I'm going to create a contract and I will explain throughout uh, the smart contract when I write them so I'm going to create a new file and call this reputation.soul there we go and just as always we're going to copy and paste the first two lines for the uh, license and the version of solidity so reputation.soul and there we go so now what we're going to do here first is to create a contract so I'm gonna write contract reputation system reputation um, system so first of all I'm going to create a struct for the user struct user and open the brackets here uh, we will have uint 256 id Oh, it's 356, 256 ID. We have a string name. So notice that here we're writing it in a way that it's, for example, a user. So we, we write name for the user, right? So if it's a product, you can um, write simply write the product name, right? So, so that the user, uh, the, the person who is deploying the smart contract would enter the name of the product and then people uh, will write it. So now it's for the user, so because of that we write the user. So the next variable is uint256 reputation score. Here we're going to put any number uh, for the reputation score, but um, oh here reputation um, okay, score. And uh, but notice that uh, you can also set a limit for the reputation score so that uh, is for example 1 to 10 or uh, 0 to 10 or 0 to 5 or something like that or 0 to 100. So um, this is also good for uh, the degrees of a student inside of a class, so a kind of a smart contract for the professor in order to um, give us kind of a reputation to the students so it's, it has a lot a lot of use cases you can only play with the parameters or add some other functionalities to give some limitations for example for the score and so on but here uh, it's a kind of an um, it's a kind of a free uh, reputation a score uh, that uh, has free limits so you can put it 1000 1 million infinity uh, and so on but you can set a limit for it so this smart contract is a kind of an open smart contract you can just uh, kind of an open source code that uh, you can apply changes to it and uh, use it for your own purpose so anyway let's get back to the code uint256 public user count is another variable that we need to define uint256 public um, user count and then we've got an, uh, just a mapping here mapping from the address to the user <coughs> and notice that this user here is this uh, comes from this struct so it's a kind of a type of the variable so when we define a struct it's kind of it becomes a kind of a type so um, this type is user now it's a public mapping and to the users okay and so we'll have uh, 
two events, one for user registration, the other one for updating the reputation. So event user register, user register, and here um, the user registered will get the um, the ID, the address of the user, the string which is the name of the user, and these parameters are going to be enough. So uint two fifty six ID. Oh, it's not uint. It's okay. And address user and string name. Here we go. And um, the next line will have event reputation updated. Event reputation updated. So for this event, we'll have address user, address of the user, <coughs> and a uint256 reputation score, uint256 reputation score, here we go, and so we'll have the uh, string comment. So we can add the comment, but that is not a necessary part of our reputation score so comment that uh, the user will enter but here we don't have any underline because it's about the parameters inside of the event later we'll um, write it like that <coughs> so now uh, first of all we're going to uh, create a function register user and then uh, we've got a couple of more functions so we may not uh, work, on, uh, work on them, uh, all of them in this video, some of them might be uh, done in the next video. So anyway, function register user. So we'll get the string memory name, string memory underline name, public So it will require that bytes of the name underline name that's length so the length uh, of the name string be greater than zero so it shouldn't be an empty name for the registration otherwise name cannot name cannot be empty and next up we will um, increment the user count variable so user count plus plus and then we'll um, have the users msg.sender users of the msg.sender so from the array of the users we will uh, get the so this is the mapping related to the mapping right so this is the users the address of the user so the mapping this is the address and this is the users array so will get the user and then we'll open the brackets the ID is user count and the name is the name that the user enters the uh, the person who actually deploys enters so this user is not the user who um, deploys the contract don't mix them up to mix them up together and by the way this register user can be register a product name right uh, could be register student name so it doesn't necessarily need to be a, a user right this is just um, for the simplicity of the project 
and the openness. So reputation score equals to zero and that's it. So in the end of the function we'll emit the user registered event. User registered and it will get the user count as the ID user count and message the sender sg dot sender as the address and the name so here is um, actually um, the message the sender address is the address of the user so the user registers this way to the uh, smart contract so we can choose for example one of the addresses and the address will register and then other addresses will then um, uh, actually give us kind of a score for the user so you can even apply the voting uh, a smart contract here so one of the best practices after writing this smart contract is to apply the voting for the users who have registered so amongst the users uh, the each one of the users uh, will vote to one of the users so it could be himself uh, himself or herself but uh, it could also be another uh, user so also don't forget about the semicolon here and so that's it for this part of the tutorial uh, and we'll continue the rest of the smart contract in the next video so till the next one goodbye